walked on at Maryland in 2021, where Coach Frazier was at the time, and started learning the fundamentals of the game. Then he followed Frazier to Virginia State, and now three seasons later, NFL scouts are calling, but they're not the only ones noticing. I asked Benedict defensive end Aaron Miller, what do you think of this guy, Bruno? He said, who? I said, the 6'8 left tackle you're going to face. His response, oh, that guy's huge. The tallest guy on the team by far, but we're taught never fear your opponents. And today, he's just another opponent. Steve, you were talking about Coach Henry Frazier and the success he's had everywhere he's gone. He's been coaching since 1990, more than three decades of knowledge, but it's not just what he's doing on the field for his kids, it's off the field. Doug, you were the first black quarterback to win and play in a Super Bowl. You co-founded the Black College Hall of Fame in 2009. So many alums here back for this Hall of Fame kickoff classic. How have you seen HBCU football grow since back then? Jamil Williams, 82-yard touchdown run. You had a timeout, and then he took it to the house. Was that why you drew up in the huddle? Steve, I just caught up with Ron Dickerson coming out of the locker room. I asked him, you guys were in there for a long time. What would you say? He said, look, we beat ourselves. I didn't know what we were going to be. I didn't know what to expect with all the change. And we got to be different this half. We got to be ourselves. I said, how do you limit some of those explosive plays? The 82 yard run we saw from Virginia State he said fit the gap and play our football. Guys, you're talking about Trey Simmons. He is in his first season with the Tigers, his third college stop. He transferred from a D1 school where he felt like he never got a fair opportunity to show what he can do. He told me it was like he was put in a box in a cage. Williams saw a familiar bust. His close family friend Warren Sapp, who was inducted to the Pro Hall of Fame in 2013, he said Sapp has been an example for him as a smaller quarterback at six feet tall, saying he's only a few inches taller than him, and he's given him motivation, saying he can play at the next level. Kayvon Pope, he was the nation's ninth-ranked inside linebacker coming out of high school. He ended up going to Ohio State. Things didn't work out his way, and after another stop at Tennessee State, he's here now playing with his brother. He told me he wants to rewrite his story and tell the youth not to make the same mistakes he made. Your team came in here and knocked off a Benedict College team that hadn't lost a regular season game in two seasons. How'd you get it done? First, I want to congratulate the Virginia State Trojans on an incredible game and thank the fans that came out and watched and endured the weather and are here now to celebrate. Jamil, this isn't your first MVP trophy. You won offensive MVP in baseball as a freshman. To do this on this stage on national television, your first game of the season, what does it mean? I want to introduce to you the defensive MVP for this game, defensive tackle Cameron Davis. Two sacks. How were you able to get after the quarterback be so effective today in this game? 